Hi there, it's Jeff here with another four mark diagram question. This time looking at the effect of rising interest rates. Okay, so here's the question. Uh, question coming up in September 2022, the Bank of England increased interest rates from 1.75 to 2.25%. Of course, they've risen to 5.25% uh, in January of 2024. Draw an aggregate demand and supply diagram to illustrate the likely effect of an increase in UK base rates on the average or the general price level and real GDP or real national output. So let's walk through the diagram. As you, This is how you do it. Don't forget to four mark question, so we don't need any explanation, although annotation is, is uh, recommended. General price level on the y-axis, real national output on the x-axis. I'm going to be using the neoclassical model here to illustrate. So here's our downward sloping initial demand curve with a level of long and aggregate supply that is fixed in perfectly inelastic. I'm going to assume that in the short run, just initially, the equilibrium output is here. The intersection of short run aggregate supply and aggregate demand. This gives a level of output Y1 and the price level GPL1. But of course, now we've got a positive output gap. The economy is operating with a level of actual GDP above that of potential. So what's the effect of rising interest rates? Well, the main effect, of course, is to try to bring down demand pull inflationary pressure. So higher interest rates in theory will curb consumer spending, maybe operating through the housing market, perhaps reduce planned business investment, maybe drive the exchange rate higher and have an effect on exports. But the main effect is going to be isn't it, a fall in aggregate demand to AD2. That drives down the level of real GDP to Y2, which in theory brings down the general price level from GP1 to GP2. And that's basically all you have to do in this, in this question for four marks. You, you don't have to talk about shifts in short and aggregate supply through the exchange rate effect. You've done what it says on the tin. Uh, make sure you label the axes correctly. Label all your curves. Draw to the axis, the y and the x-axis, and you'll be absolutely fine. So there was that question on uh, the effect of higher interest rates. Thanks for joining in. Take care. See you soon.